Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Veos, and here we go again with another attempt at RSS Realism Overhaul SSTO. I do want to make it quite clear that I am working nights, so I'm very tired. If I make a mistake, it's probably due to exhaustion. Anyway, try to take a good look at what kind of mods it downloaded for, for RSS uh, Realism Overhaul. And see if uh, some of you computer gurus, programmers out there, can find out why it's turning green, why the atmosphere is so weird and fucked up, and which which one of these I can uh, disable, I guess is the word I'm looking for, because I don't know which one is I don't know which one is making it hiccup that badly. So take a good look. Uh, I think uh, in Camtasia I'll go in there and I'll zoom in and slowly kind of go down the list. Just the last two couldn't fit in the screen, so there we are. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and dive right in. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and we only have enough time to fly the one that I've built. But I think I will make more videos on just me trying to tweak it to get more cargo up there uh, with less fuel, you know. But uh, I really do believe that the SSTO for for this version of the game, look at that, that is just stupid blue. Anyway, it could be a lot smaller if it wasn't for the fact that uh, the ignition for the space shuttle main engines there's only one ignition it means once they light and once they go out that's it you can't ignite them anymore so alright so first quick real quick we're gonna look at the um, evolution of that one that you saw this one right here was kind of crazy kinda of wild if you're wondering to yourself if these cargo bays are a lot larger than what you're used to the yes because whatever realism overhaul did, it made the cargo bays and a lot of other um, a lot of other parts human sized. So no longer are they kerbal sized; they're human sized. The second one was just pretty much a test bed, and uh, all I did was test out because it had 8,000 ms. Well, minus this tank, so I take away the tank and it drops down to six. So yeah, it wasn't. It was just a test bed to see uh, if I could make it more aerodynamic, if maybe making it more aerodynamic as a just a straight tube was um, a lot better. And finally we came up, well not finally, but here's the Mark III. As you can see I was playing around with procedural tanks. Okay, It does have enough fuel to make it up into space, but... The problem is once I get up into the atmosphere, not the atmosphere, excuse me, once I get up to apoapsis and try to burn the rest of the way into orbit using these engines, um, sadly, unfortunately, uh, that's it. There is no, <laughs> there really is no getting back to Earth. There is no getting back to Earth. The problem is, is that I can't throttle these. So you ignite them about 30 seconds to 20 seconds out from periapsis and they'll keep on burning and the apoapsis will rush ahead into the you know two three hundred thousand meter mark and the periapsis might get around 40,000 might get around 50,000 because of the simple fact that I can't really keep just ahead of the apoapsis as I'm burning they're a little too powerful and on top of that you can only ignite them one time it was a lot of headache alright RSS part 4 this is the one that actually made it into orbit just barely it's a lot uh, it's a lot more slicker more aerodynamic uh, I put I went ahead and just put a big giant fuel tank on top and big giant fuel tank on the bottom put the payload in the middle Megjeb says it's actually 9300 meters per second TWR of 1.6. Let's go ahead and launch it and show you just how difficult it is to get it into orbit. Now, mind you, it's holding 30 tons, and last time I looked up, uh, a typical 
payload to low Earth orbit for the space shuttle was 25 tons or 50,000 pounds. And so this is a pretty much a dummy payload. I'm sure if I was to put something a lot bigger in here, it could, you know, potentially build a small space station after a while. Uh, this is a prototype. Well, all of them are going to be prototy prototypes because, you know, this is real solar system um, realism overhaul we're talking about. So, all right, so let's go ahead and launch it. I may not be able to get into orbit right now because I am limited on my time. So that means that, oh shit, I forgot to write down how to get into orbit. I want to try with one less engine. Probably not the smartest thing in the world, but could work. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, poor Valentina. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. And T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Four, three, start, two, one. We have ignition and launch of SSRT Mark IV. Take three, no, I mean two. Uh, okay. In uh, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, main engine start. Two, one. What the flying fuck shit? Uh, five, four, three, two, one. Gosh damn it. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to raise my periapsis before I raise my apoapsis. So I know that one side. Oh shit, this might not work. Okay, we had to kill it because our periapsis is now in orbit. But good news is is that our I mean our apoapsis is now in orbit. Our good news is our periapsis height is very I think I think these engines these small little engines could finish that off all right I'm doing it in three two one initiating burn periapsis is now rising preparing to turn off engines there almost there almost there seven and 180 ah nice only took three tries but hey there we go okay you can you can, you can turn those off thank you so it would be a lot, I think it would be a lot less um, 
It'd be a lot easier to get into orbit if we didn't have to rely on these. If we could start these up a second time. But, you know, it's realism overhaul. So everything's supposed to be real. This is except for the green sky. <laughs> it's, that's not supposed to be there at all. It's, look at this. This is weird. What the fuck? When did fucking Jingo's the Clown come in here? Damn. The fuck is going on with this shit? Okay, never mind. I don't care. I think it's number nine. Oh, please let me not be wrong. Nine? Fuck, I was wrong. Okay, so we're not coming back down to Kerbin on this launch. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Woo! Bye bye, Heat Shield. Guess what, Valentina? You're stuck here forever. <laughs> Alright, well, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for being a part of this channel. I will of course be working on this tomorrow and making a video of it as we go along. Any advice, especially about the fucking green sky, would be great. And of course, I love you all. Have a good night. I am Veos, signing off.